Can you react to this? What is this? Performance points and star rating update? This was yesterday! Wait, is it coming to stable? I know it was, it, it was out on, uh, on laser, but is it out on stable already? No way! The time for change is finally here. There are changes to all game modes this time around in an effort to improve the difficulty and performance calculations. This news post will discuss what has changed in a format that should be understandable to you, the player. All changes made this round are intended to keep the general understanding of per score PP values the same. This means if a score or beat map's max PP value has decreased, it's due to that beat map or score being overweight until now. As a result, individual users may see a large jump in their PP in either direction. If you find yourself scratching your head when reading, consider consulting the performance points, PP, and star rating wiki articles to gain a greater understanding of the topics. Release schedule. Star rating cal recalculations. Completed 2024-1029. That's today! To begin, we'll be recalculating the star rating of every beat map across every game mode. This will be done live. So as the new star rating values are applied to beat maps, new scores arriving will get calculated using them. As a result, the PP you achieve may slightly deviate from expectations. Any PP values which don't match will be fixed in the following steps. Importantly, the old PP algorithm will still be used, so the PP values achieved will not be final. Freeze global rank updates. We're about to reprocess every score in existence. Before doing this, we want to disable user rank updates. That means your current global slash country rank and graph will be frozen in time until we're done reprocessing things. That said, if you play, your total PP will still immediately be updated. In addition, all new scores will now get their correct new PP. If we didn't do this, users would see their rank jump all over the place, and we have no way of ensuring every <laughs> score PP and user total PP are updated all at once. Reprocess performance values of all scores, three to 10 days. We'll now need to reprocess all three billion, seven hundred thirty-four million, three hundred forty-three thousand, one hundred ninety-eight scores. This means any scores you can currently see on the website will get a new PP value, including scores set on OSA stable and laser. This is the most time consuming part of the deploy process. During this period, scores and best performance may look to be out of order or not visible. In previous runs, we did this process starting on highest ranked users and working outwards. But this time around, we're trying a different approach in order to more efficiently run the process. Even so, it's going to take a while. Peppy note, I'm running this in the background while preparing for the full run. Global ranks have not been frozen yet. This is unnecessary as I'm starting to process scores with low PP values. Reprocess total, PP values for all users, 12 hours. Re-enabling of global rank history updates. Rank history graphs will be enabled and updated again. At this point, all global... Uh, leaderboard ranks will be stable going forward. And then re-indexing, two to three days. This will fix scores being out of order on profiles, and in some rare cases, not being displayed at all. OSU! All changes for OSU are covered in the latest OSU laser update video, which you may be interested in watching. I already watched it. As a reminder of the various core values in the difficulty calcul calculation algorithm. AIM! How difficult it is to consistently hit notes back to back, affected by approach rate, jumps, hidden, and hard rock, and more. Speed! How quickly new elements are presented to the players, affected by note density, BPM, double time, and half time. Accuracy, how difficult it is to stay rhythmically on time, affected by hidden, hard rock, flashlight, and more. Strain, the difficulty of enduring intense or technically demanding patterns often and for a long time, affected by streams, fast jumps, and more. Combo scaling removal. This is a change you're most likely already familiar with due to the extensive public discourse on various social media. It's Moonpoint and Kermit Nuggie's uh, performance algorithm change to remove the combo scaling factor. Apply to the aim and speed uh, portions of the performance points. In short, missing used to be more punishing when missing in the middle of the map compared to the beginning or end since the later case you get more combo. Now plays uh, with the same amount of misses will give about the same amount of PP no matter where the misses occur. Accompanying this, misses will incur a higher performance penalty in general with special emphasis on the first miss that differentiates an FC from a non-FC. The way this miss penalty is applied is also slightly different. Longer maps, based on object count, will m would make any individual miss more lenient, but now it's based on the amount of difficult sections regardless of map length. Yes! Put another way, missing in long beat maps will, with a single difficulty spike will be punished harder than a long map that are than long maps that are consistently difficult. The algorithm essentially assumes that misses happen on the most difficult parts. Yes! Yes! As touched on earlier, big jumps in total PP are expected this in this round. The removal of combo scaling will result in large increases for users who have many scores with lower combos that are considered difficult. It may also result in decreases for users who have many scores with higher combos but saturated a lot of misses towards the end of the beat map. Rhythm complexity improvements. 
Rhythm complexity can be expressed as changes in pattern lengths and timings. Quintuples changing into triplets, even bursts into odd bursts, one, four, one over four streams into one over three streams, etc. More erratic changes imply a more complex rhythm, making it harder for players to adapt and recognize the rhythm they should tap to. A change proposed by Stan R fixes some flaws in Osu's rhythm complexity calculations. Highly complex rhythm has received a general buff, affecting maps such as Decaplets. A bonus was previously applied based on pattern length, which caused long bursts to be ass assessed as rhythmically complex, even if they were not. This has been removed. Double tappable patterns have been nerfed, i.e. overlapping notes where the time between objects is low enough to comfortably double tap and still receive 300s. This double tap nerf already existed in the speed portion of PP, and this change now brings it over to rhythm complexity calculations too. Repeated note groups have been heavily nerfed. This practically means that patterns such as repeated triple spam, like in slow motion, are nerfed significantly. Wait, but I suck at consecutive triples, bro. Nah, dude. Consecutive triples are hard. No. Don't tell me I'm just skill issued, bro. They're easy. No. Flow aim hot fix, but flow aim was, was completely fine. There's nothing to be fixed. Fast flow aim is re rewarded by taking into account the distance between objects and the general speed difficulty. These values used to be multipliers, but now they're additive instead. In effect, this nerfs fast space stream significantly. But my octagons, my follow point streams. Wait, did Sunyoku do this? I know that guy. I'm going to flame him. I'm just kidding. The same change by Sunyoku uh, additionally performs other minor changes to see how these values are calculated, lowering them overall, especially for lower spaced flow aim. Here are a few examples of the most affected beat maps by this change. Sidetrack day by Vinxis Infinity Inside. Is this the, 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 the Dendi? Ah. Yeah, Dendi is still cringe, but anyways. Uh, with DT, 10.5 stars to 10.26 stars. The slider beat map from 10.65 to 10.42. Flight of the Bumblebee, 10.05 to 9.87. And then Valley of the Veil, 10.18 to 10.01. Huh, pretty minor. Sliders, are, uh, sliders now contribute to accuracy PP. A change proposed by Sunyoku has been created to include the slider count in accuracy PP if a score was set using slider head accuracy. Traditionally, Oso has not had accuracy on slider ends, and so accuracy PP have excluded sliders in calculations. However, laser has slider head accuracy, and so accuracy PP now includes sliders on scores played with slider head accuracy. This change may not affect all scores with the slider head accuracy, as accuracy PP has also has an object count cap, meaning accuracy PP will go unchanged if the cap was already reached. Additionally, very low accuracy scores may not be boosted enough by the added object counts to result in any extra reward. We expect more PP changes related to slider accuracy in the future. Chat, what this also should imply is that scores set on laser will be rewarded more. If all you care about is PP, laser might be the way forward. Unless you suck at hitting sliders like me. Minor changes. A slider mechanics change was made to adjust slider ends to be more lenient during fast sliders, which has resulted in buffs on some maps with very fast sliders such as Kaide. You can find more about this change related in the Osu Laser Updates video. Give the cap 120 refactored and cleaned up various areas. Both of these have, uh, are, are different links. <gasps> GitHub. Anyways, uh, to make them easier to understand and maintain, <clears throat> an aim skill multiplier rebalance proposed by Tsunyoku was made in order to ensure the final results of all major changes are in line with expectations. A speed accuracy scaling change proposed by Stan R was made to punish lower accuracies below OD8 more harshly. And Finadoggy's proposed score statistics estimation change was made to ensure that slider breaks and drop slider ends are correctly accounted for in Osu laser scores. It's pretty dope. Is this in reference to the consecutive triples? So if there is one triple, there is no multiplier. If there are two triples, then at 200 BPM, it will have a 0.2 multiplier. At 225, it's around 0.2. At 250, it'll be around like 2.3. At 275, the multiplier will be 0.6. If it was 300, it'll be 0.8. And until it gets closer and closer to one at 400 BPM, right? However, it's, a sim it's similar if there were three triples, but the moment it hits five triples, 
it caps out as a at a at a, at a maximum multiplier of 0.6, which is reached by playing a map at 300 BPM. If there are nine triples, then it caps out at around 280 BPM. But why are the multipliers getting smaller? So if there's a single triple in a beat map, it rewards no bonus. It's a multiplier of PP. But that means it's nerfing the PP, right? Or am I dumb? Oh, well, I'm sure people smarter than me uh, will understand it. Sorry, chat. I'm, I'm bad at brain. It's called island repetition nerf. I don't know what that means. The more triple spam, the more nerf. 